Welcome back, one. Welcome back, all. Hello, Pussycat Warriors. Cage Star Charger here for part two of uh, her Vortex follow-ups. Uh, here's the thing, you know, with Catwoman, she's got many ways to really make people pay for tr either trying to get out of her Vortex or for guessing wrong in her Vortex. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, over two, you know, we for one, I should say, we've all talked about this at Medium, so very nice move but here's some other properties about it 16 frame startup for this overhead and if they block it it's just plus one it's plus two they block that you're inclined to go ahead and follow up with something else inclined to go ahead and jump for cross up setups or you know, you can just go ahead and complete the stream you know forward one 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 two yeah which is overhead mid mid overhead all right. Second follow-up string. Second most popular thing for her to do is her low, her back one, two, down three. That string very damaging. We've all seen what kinds of potential that could lead up to. It's got another variant, you know, back one. Uh, yeah, back one, two, up three. Yeah, it's got its potential, but you know, at the same time, that's not quite something that we want to look into for now. But it's there for swag purposes, in case you want to look into that as a potential option. Uh, but uh, now that people are starting to wise up, that all you need to do is go ahead and get through the first hit of those two strings to get through her vortex. And there are other options in there for her to go ahead and really exploit for her benefit to really keep people, you know, honest and on their toes about what she can do when she's got people locked down. Uh, here's what I mean, you know, certain strings like two down two, which is mid uh, to low. Now, the best thing about this string, other than the fact that it starts up mid and goes to, goes to low, yeah, is that on block those two hits and when you do the just those two hits alone are plus three on block now it doesn't really leave you in the best of positions considering the pushback let me go ahead and uh, set killer frost to always block you know because uh... When and uh... the block stun's pretty it's pretty uneven here's what i mean by that. it's kinda hard to take advantage of it you know, you have to be really precise and concise whenever you're going to use a follow-up after using that string. You know, it's there. You know, but, you know, in terms of getting some heavy follow-up attacks that'll really go ahead and make them pay for trying to A, jump out or poke out or reversal, whatever the case may be, you know, the potential, you know, is kind of lacking somewhat in those regards. However, uh, I will say this, at plus three, you know, it will set up some good times for you to want to go ahead and do some more jumping shenanigans or whatever the case may be. Catch a backdash, you know, try and really, you know, open, find another way to open up your opponent. But the whole string, you know, there's two variants. Two down two one, which will go ahead and launch your opponent. And like so. Or two down two three, which is mid low low. The second low in that string will actually end in an unattackable knockdown and give you a nice little opportunity to set up, you know, another hard knockdown situation for your opponent. So very useful, very underlooked, and something to really keep in mind. Say if you want to go ahead and use your jump, your your yeah your jump two. You know, because, you know, if they get used to your one, your single hits, you know, they think, you know, you block those first hits, you're okay. But now they've got to go ahead and think about these next two strings, which the second string that I'm going to bring involved out of the three that I'm going to go ahead and show is four, two, down, two, up, three. Oh, four, three, or uh, four, two, I'm sorry. Four, two. Down, down three, uh, two, one. Four, two, down three, one. Sorry about that. Uh, which goes mid, low, mid. You know, which ends in a pop up. So another string to go ahead and have your opponent guessing. It's pretty safe on block. 
The whole thing is negative five on block. You know, but it leaves you at enough of a distance to where if they want to try a down one punish so that uh, they can get a full combo, you're pretty safe from that. You know, but keep in mind that you are at a negative frame uh, disadvantage, so you don't want to be trying to attack or anything that will really get you opened up in the worst way possible. All right? Um, here's one of my favorite follow-ups uh, for a jump-in setup. Because, A, if you time it correctly while you're in the air, tapping the whole string, their opponent, if they try to down one, you you're interrupt you after your jump-in follow-up, then they will get eaten alive with this string one of two ways. A, they will either eat a plus 12 stagger if they're caught uh, getting hit, or if they block the whole thing, they'll be left at negative one. You'll be at a plus one advantage, at which point you can either down one in a, a special, or what's more, you could go ahead and do a full armor four or three or armor back three, like so, to catch them if they try to think they can go ahead and poke out of that. Now, there are multiple follow-ups to this. You know, I'll go ahead and get into those here in just a moment. But the best thing about this is that you, your opponent is forced to respect whatever comes next if you just do those two hits alone. And also, since you can go ahead and pop this like this, you can see it takes a while for that string to develop, so you can easily hit confirm the next follow-up attack, whether it be a special or the end of the string. And let me show you the whole, all the variants of these strings. Uh, you have 333. All right, that alone leaves you pretty safe. Negative three, I believe, on block, but it knocks your opponent far enough away to where they can't really do much about it. However, they wouldn't really want to do anything about it because the potential for this is pretty massive considering that 333 is hit confirmable into a special if you nail them with that, uh, if you nail them with all three hits. Or even on block, you can use it as a way to really keep them honest you know, by doing the cat claws, or three to three, straight whip, that's a high though, you don't want to get caught too often with that, because they duck, punish, you know, we know how that goes. So, that also leads me into the final variation of this string, three three, back two, which you can go ahead and hit confirm the last hit of this. You see, what wound up happening was I did the... The first, the first three hits of that that entire attack, I just tapped while she was in midair. Your opponent cannot interrupt that, or unless they have like a one frame parry or Superman super, or and what winds up happening is I can go ahead and hit confirm that last hit of that string into that overhead if I think they're just gonna go ahead and wind up mashing out of it. So, I believe the three three back two is uh, negative three on block. You know, you want to keep that in mind because, you know, of course, you're not at an advantageous position, so don't try to uh, follow that up. But at the same time, just know that the 3-3 three, three follow-ups are some of the most deadly follow-ups in her arsenal because if they're not leaving her at advantage, they're leaving her in a position where she can hit confirm something to really open you up in the biggest way possible. So keep those in mind. And uh, here we're going to go ahead and explore the next part of what she can go ahead and do after she's put an opponent in a helpless state of a uh, of vortex. So, without further ado. Let me go ahead and uh, set the computer to no block. Yeah, all right, see that? Cross under. Cross under shenanigans from using 4-3. You can do that on multiple fronts. You can use that on the ground, in the middle of a combo. Really limitless stuff. And if that's not enough, you know, she's got cross under shenanigans using her jumping whip or jumping two, which, you know, can lead to some serious stuff. Like so. And there's that jumping three that we went ahead and discussed in the last video. A you know, way to go ahead and open your, your opponent if they're caught blocking from the front. 
So pretty much, you know, these are some pretty good ways for you to really take into consideration to making Catwoman as viable as possible up close because we all know people get pretty anxious whenever they go ahead and get that knockdown. And even when they guess right, they're not completely out of the woods because of the potential of these special, these uh, normals of hers. You know, whether it be the first hit of uh, Ford 1112, back 1 2 down 3. Uh, three, three, or even the other two strings that have the mid, the lows embedded in them that can really lead to some pretty big damage. Strings like uh, two down two, or four two down three one. And if that wasn't enough, you also have her command overhead, her back two, which if you do the full uh, string of this. On block, that leaves her at plus two, and at that point, you can pretty much just go ahead and follow up with whatever you want. You know, the stagger that it puts them in while you're at that frame advantage is pretty generous. So if you want to, let me go ahead and set Killer Frost to block now. won't reach however in the corner now that I've gotten her in the corner it still it still won't reach so it pushes you back far enough to where you can't really take advantage of it but the frame advantage is nice enough to where they've got to really guess your next move so I guess that's one consolation to thinking about it but if there's anything that I'd really want to do after a block uh, back two it's her cat stance alright Cat stance, let me go ahead and get into the follow-ups of that. Oh, looks like I'm out of time. I'll probably have to do that in another video. So, hey, uh, let me know what you think, and uh, just go ahead and give this a shot. You know, my tech is there for you guys to go ahead and explore. So, hey, take it easy.